people have told me that I play the most similar to Marcelo and that sometimes I look like him. People have called me Little Marcelo and for me that's just the biggest compliment there is. It's like getting like a basketball player saying like, oh, he's, he's like Michael Jordan or something like this. And it's funny because sometimes when I'm watching clips of him and also some clips of myself competing, if you put them side by side, I, I bet you they'd look, look pretty close um, and pretty, pretty similar. I think Marcel's game is really complete. For me, it's just really easy because he's my coach, he's on the mess with me every day to, to have him help me um, fit, like, complete my game. Definitely, like, I remember when he came because we trained the first time, but he always tell me like we met before, but I don't really remember when we met in a tournament or something like that because maybe it was just so many people in that, in that day that I talked. But I remember when we trained, and it was definitely like a, a, a surprise to see you know, someone that never trained with me before, but has a very similar like jiu-jitsu style. So at a minimum, Monday through Friday, I train the two classes with Marcelo, um, one in the afternoon and one at night. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, right after the afternoon class, um, I run over to Midtown to uh, train at Revolution in Motion. And they really help keep me uh, injury free and also get me stronger and balanced energetically. And, and um, uh, on the weekends, I try to always do some strength and conditioning on Friday or Saturday, sometimes Sunday, something light if I'm feeling up for it. And that workout always varies. Sometimes I'll lift heavy, sometimes I'll do some running or climb some ropes or do some pull-ups and all those things combined. Also throughout the week, I'm teaching. So Monday through Friday, I make sure I at least try to teach as many privates as I, as I can to support myself and also teach um, a couple classes a week at the school. Getting the black belt for me means I have some sort of proficiency and mastery of the technical aspect of you know, jiu-jitsu, but at the same time, getting it from Marcelo usually means he recognized that I have like a real love for the sport and desire to work really hard and also acknowledge me for my integrity like on and off the like, mat. Like I like being on the mat. I like being surrounded by my training partners and my friends and things like that. Definitely there's some sacrifice like my friends back home and my family and being near the beach and and also kind of being in like crowded apartment and not having like a ton of money when I probably could have been graduated from school and had a pretty good job. But I don't think I'd trade all those things for what I have now. I think I think majority of the time the 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 training's fun and you know sometimes I'm beat up from a practice or tired from teaching or working so hard. I, I work hard not just on the mat but off the mat just just with everything I do. And but once once it, you get started, it's 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 all fun. And so that that to me is what's important.